What's going on guys, your average gamer back, and as you just saw, you probably saw a new intro, and you're probably wondering what that was. Um, as you saw, UD, uh, it stands for underdogs, and on board right now, um, I have Liu Kang, um, which is also the co-leader. Uh, we're going to basically give you guys a big rundown, because today we're going to do a live comm for you guys, and this is going to answer up any questions that we've been alluding to, that you've kind of seen in my stream, I've been you know, talking about UD, you may have seen my Twitter change, all of a sudden my Twitter name is a little bit different, and we're going to go through that. And, uh, you know, before I kind of pass over to Liu Kang, we're going to talk about, you know, UD as competitive, GB, pub, sniping, and he's before all that, he's going to give you guys a little rundown of the history of UD, because it's not just all of a sudden we decide, boom, this is it, this is it. Um, there's a little backbone in history to it, and I'm going to pass it over, and he's going to let you guys know a little bit more about the history of UD. Yeah, first and foremost, guys, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in. Um, I want to give you guys a little bit of background. Number one, it, is, it isn't a clan we just came up with out of the blue. Um, it was a competitive sniping clan that I was the leader of back in Modern Warfare 2. Um, you know, we, we had... Uh, I, you know, it's hard to even say how much success we had. It was, you know, we we were number one uh, multiple times, and uh, you know, it, it just was a, a really great team. And you know, it, it popped in my head one day that maybe I could make the transition and kind of take UD to the next level, kind of, you know, grow it a little bit, push it a little bit more towards the YouTube side. Um, you know, make a GB team and even you know get a pro team going and you know attend land events which I've been wanting to do for you know a, a long time I just haven't had time and you know things haven't worked out for that you know for me in that sense yet but uh, with this new clan I definitely want to push it to the limits basically and you know you know get, get it to where I want it to be basically and um, like you know two six says it's not just gonna be GB it's not just gonna be pro there's gonna be like a uh, we're pretty sure we're thinking about having like a pub stomping team. Um, we're gonna have directors and uh, things like that. But I'll let uh, Tusa give a little bit on the on that info right there. So as you guys can see in both our clan tags, we have different ones. Uh, he has Bash, I have Bros. And right now, what's gonna happen is we're gonna go into a pub and we're gonna try and be the Bash Brothers. And if you know what the, who the Bash Brothers are, you'll know from Mighty Ducks and all that and that's all I need to say about that but going into a little bit more about the team and the dynamics um, my role on UD is kind of what I've taken on is kind of the business manager I'm overlooking a lot of it and trying to, to make sure that the interwebs and everything connect and sync properly and along with that I'm taking more along the lines of the the pub team and the snipers and let's start with snipers because apparently that's a, a pretty hot topic and what I really like about Call of Duty Ghosts in the sense that there's no tack insertions. And what that means is true skill. A sniper is going to have true skill. If you are a good sniper, you will, you will or you may have already quickly adapted to this game to understand it. And, um, you know, sniping. And I'll say this now. Sniping to me is not about speeds. It's not about um, how many quads you can get, how many five mans. But it's... I like the overall gameplay. Like I like to see how well people can can really hold it down. Um, Meech, what's your your take on sniping? Since you are you coming from a competitive background sniper, so what's your take on sniping? Yeah, basically, I don't find even though I was a competitive quick scoper and I did a lot of e sniping and things like that, I don't consider you know just uh, sniping to be just quick scoping. For one. And two, like like you said. It's not just about the speed, it's about a lot of things. A lot of getting speeds is timing. It, it, you know, it doesn't prove that you're the best sniper. It just proves that, you know, you have good timing or, you know, even you get lucky. I'm not taking anything away from a lot of the teams out there that, that do get seeds. Because, it, you know, it is very hard and it's time consuming and, you know. But, you know, just, just let you guys know that's not what we're looking for, you know. We're not look, just looking for, like, guys who just all speed, blah, 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 blah. Um, you, you can be a good sniper without getting all these speeds and, you know, even trick, uh, trick shot. I don't really like trick shotting too much myself. Um, that's kind of lucky with speed. 
in my opinion. It's it's very random. I think it's very random. It doesn't it doesn't really showcase everything, you know. And I think we want, and especially for UD, we want players that are that can adapt, you know, very very adaptable to situations. And you know that's why you know you kind of have to live up to the name at the root of it, underdog. You're an underdog for a reason, and you got to show yeah, people. You got to step up and you got to show people why. And it kind of brings on to kind of my next level of topic is just of, of just shit taking fire. Okay, uh, sorry guys. It's a little bit. This is actually my first ever live com, so I'm trying to you know play and and watch the map and everything. And so it's a little bit difficult. But as I was saying, I'm just kind of understanding and knowing what you need to do um, to to evolve and grow as a player. Uh, we're not the type of players that are are generally happy with and content with the way we are as players like we want to keep evolving um, I think that's a huge thing yeah. for UD is is not being not settling like you can always aim to be better and yeah, everyone no has that ability you can always you can always get better there's always someone better than you out there and, and I'm one of those type of people that I want to get to the highest level I want to be the best and uh, you know definitely I just grind from the bottom I wasn't one of those competitive snipers that just you know, I I knew people, so I got in teams, and you know, eventually because my name, I was one of those person that people that grinded to where I had to where I had to be. I, I, you know, I made a bunch of clans. I got them number one by picking up people. It, it started off we were horrible, and then you know, eventually we grinded, we grinded. I picked up better people. I, we worked on strategy because we got better. We grinded. How many ever clans last? How many ever clans were competitive sniping at the time, and we eventually got to number one. So we we definitely know a lot about grinding. I, I'll say that, and uh, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for people that, that know how to grind. And I think that that's huge because for me, well, we met through basically my live stream. You came on to a follower Friday, and you know you made a comment last week when I thought about. I said to myself, "Oh, I think I'm gonna take a day break." And then what happened? I turned my stream on still. Um, you know, knowing, you know, my, I have big goals and aspirations for streaming. Um, I want to be, you know, one of the top streamers. And, you know, most of you guys have been in my live streams and you've seen the level of interaction and, and I try to bring some knowledge to, to the game. Oh shit, I just ate a nade. Damn dog. <laughs> Yeah, but, but to move forward a little bit, like, you know, talking about the pro team, talking about GB team, you know, there's going to be different. Those, all the people on the pro team are not going to be on the GB team, and all the people on the GB team are not going to be on the pro team. I kind of want a, a, a developing team. I want people to grow in GB because, number one, that's how you get better. Um, so, like, you know, we might have, like, really, really good people on the GB team that won't be on the pro team. I kind of want think of it as kind of like an academy yeah, like think of it that way yeah, yeah you, you have way to put it. you have an academy in training yeah, definitely because I want I, I want you guys to, le to learn what we're about to learn about the grind a little bit and if you guys grind enough and get to that point to where I feel like you're on the caliber of uh, being a pro then, then there you go you, you'll be on you'll be on a pro yeah I think a, a big thing for us as well is in part of of finding players, I think skill and personality. It's not just about skill, I think it's how well you mesh with others and like like many clans talk about is is how well you can you know, interact with others. Jesus, we're spawn N A. But that's comes part with the game is you know developing yourself developing around and learning from the people around you and I think that's that's the atmosphere we want to build is you know regardless if you're part of the clan or not how well you can learn and uh, bring up your skills and that's not to say if you're not at the level right now that we're not looking at you um, if anything we're looking at the people who can try to to bring their skills up more than anything uh, I think that's a that's you know, part for me, like, I've always been an instructor role, so I've always kind of, oh, oh God, watch that dog, got you. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. yo, we gotta clutch this game out. We, we were down by so oh much. Yeah, all right. 
We're gonna focus. We're gonna focus right here and get this win for you guys. Yo, we were down by like 15. Real talk. Oh, the nine bang. DQ. DQ. <laughs> Yo, that's a joke from, joke, from our first GB that I did post. Um, the last video you guys saw that um, you know they threw a nine bang. We lost the map, but we should have won because of that. Oh, I'm pinned over here. Charge me. Hit this mid. One's in that mid, uh, whatever. I don't even know what that is. Cement circle thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. Oh, yeah. This guy's top oh, tree on me. Slow and steady, baby. Slow and steady. Go Let's go. There we go. There we go. Uh, hopefully, we were able to bring a little bit more insight to you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and, um, you know, giving a, a listen to what we have to say about UD. Be on the lookout. I'm going to put in the description below uh, Luke Kang's channel. Please check him and subscribe to him. I'm going to put UD's channel. We don't have any videos uploaded to that yet. I'm planning on putting stuff up. But thank you guys so much. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like. Um, leave a comment. And hopefully uh, we'll see you guys in the stream. And sorry about today's stream, guys. Or yesterday's stream. By the time you guys watch this, my internet went down. And I wasn't able to get anything going but i will be streaming today at six and talking more about ud so if you guys have any questions please address them in the stream and i'll catch you guys later meet you on your way out you anything to say to these people all right man yep i want to say thank you for uh coming by and uh be on the lookout man for big things man ud we're out here peace yep. and we'll see you guys